just said, hey, we're bringing a party here anyway. see the first thing they see to be the party and um, eventually to figure out oh these guys are from a church we just we just like to feed people and um, we think that that's the kind of stuff that, that Jesus liked to do and it's the kind of stuff that he told us that we need to be about Well, you know, being a church plant, you have to focus on a few things at the beginning. So we focused in on just being a healthy community with uh, good small groups and, and Sunday services. A few years ago, we just began to feel really convicted um, about serving our community. And uh, we're not a huge church. We didn't have a, a big building that we could do a lot of community center sort of activities, but we had a heart to serve. We just felt compelled to reach out to our neighbors. And rather than go into uh, Houston or drive you know, out of town or do uh, out of town mission trips, we just thought, where can we start? Where's the closest point we can begin to reach our neighbors? There's a, a community across the street that had a lot of need and we wanted to uh, start by providing new shoes for school. And so we went over there and we threw a party. We just basically got a, a grill out, cooked up some food and I had some crafts for the kids and then we had a table set up where we had butcher paper and we, we um, had the kids trace their feet on the butcher paper and wrote down their shoe size and then the next Sunday we put all those butcher paper shoes all up on the walls of our church and we asked each family to take home uh, one of those papers and buy uh, a pair of shoes and bring it back the next week. And we found this really been, been nice to see is when we first went over there it seemed like a lot of the neighbors at the apartments didn't know one another and so we felt like not only were we building community with them we were also providing a place where they could build community with each other which we found now after doing this for 18 months they uh, they're all very close to one another and know each other's stories and know the names of each other's kids it's been really fun to be a part of that I think the impact most of all is having a party squad come over for the past year from my perspective is, is it's more of a community. Everybody is a whole. And you know, it's the people that, some people that are staying here that have family, some of them are elderly, some kids that have parents that doesn't go to church themselves. And then it's like the church is giving them somewhere that they can look to, someone that they can count on when the times are rough. And then it's somebody that they can just be friends with, someone that they can know that will be there. When I came here, they didn't have a vacation Bible school we joined this church. I'd previously been involved with other churches. So I said, I'll do that for you, not realizing what I was getting myself into. Um, but from the outset, I said, I'm only willing to do this if it's community-based. If we don't charge anything, um, again, you know, a lot of these kids in the community wouldn't be able to come if there was a fee. Um, well, you know, one story, our, our family's adopted two kids, and my, my, um, my daughter's African-American, and we are not very good at doing African-American hair. And so my wife is always very honest and open about that. So she talked to one of the ladies there at the apartments and said, hey, how does my daughter's hair look? And uh, she was kind, but she said we could be doing a lot better job with it. And uh, so my wife was able to go over there and she worked on my daughter's hair and she's, she's come over here. And so there's just that kind of friendship that's been built, uh, just, just doing life together and sharing experiences with one another. It's a real practical way to get to know people, to serve them, and just begin to figure out how, how we can help you know, them in life, and introduce them to Jesus and to